People used to make the trip from Dublin to Belfast and they brought back Mars bars, they brought back spangles, they brought back contraceptives. Uh, contraception was, was illegal in the Republic at the time. And the customs used to take them off you. Of course it would change if the borders brought back here, of course it would change things that, you know, they could have to bring your passport to and from work every day, bring stuff with you in case anyone was ever to stop and say, we're just doing a wee check here and I don't know if someone was to come on the train that had to check everybody's documents, it would be, of course it would be a nightmare. I don't think they'd be taking contraceptives again, I think that's gone forever. <laughs> I think you could get customs checks on trains, yes, yes. And would that be a Ah, it's messy, it's messy. It slows it down. People have got so used to travelling now. Well, be, being being out of the EU, um, like it's still passes between the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland would still be as easy, I would say. But historically, there's always been like an easy passage between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland, even without the EU. But it's more than even just a physical um, border and physical thing because so many of us feel Irish and Northern Irish and it would, I would hate that to be something that would be even more difficult then with a, with a border that we would, um, that it would make it more difficult, that it would be a bit more inaccessible for us. You can still get your contraceptives both sides of the border now. Oh yes you can, you can buy them on the supermarket shelves now.